This is WBFO, your NPR station. Welcome back to Buffalo What's Next. I'm Lorenzo Rodriguez, and today we are going to celebrate the holiday that is Boshanta Utsav. I hope I, I pronounced that correctly. Uh, I have a longtime member of the Shanskriti Bengali Cultural Association of Western New York, Sudharto Ghosh. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? Thanks for inviting me. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope I'm, my Bengali is, is my pronunciation is, is... It's very good. Is it? Okay. I, I, it's very good. Thank you very much for joining us. And like I mentioned, uh, it's a very festive, very special time of the year for, for those of Bengali background and the yes. community. You're a part of this, the Shanskriti uh, group with a longtime member, been in Buffalo now for decades. Four decades, And yes. Before we get into uh, the holiday and, and, and what it pertains, how would you describe the Bengali culture? To my understanding, it's, 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 it's an area-based cultural ethnic identity, Bangladesh, West Bengal, surrounding the language. Is that correct in my assumption? Correct. correct. There are about 250 million uh, people around the world that uh, speak that language. It is uh, the fifth most spoken language in the world. Uh, so we are we are very proud of, of our cultural heritage because it uh, is enriched with uh, music, literature, and, and and poetry, and that's what uh, this upcoming festival is all about. It is the festival of Bashanta Utsav. Yes. To my understanding, we, we, we I'm sure our audience has seen it in one form or another if they're not familiar with it. Uh, because it's very distinguishable. It's it, the celebration involves a lot of dance, a lot of food, but it's a, it's a, it's, it celebrates spring, its hues, its colors. Can you elaborate a little bit more? Yes, yes. So this uh, spring festival, uh, which is um, known as Boshon uh this holds a special place in the Bengali community. The festival took more of a firmer hold in the period of Bengal Renaissance uh, that took place in the 19th and early 20th century and played uh, a crucial role in shaping the social and cultural ethos of modern India. And one of the prominent figures of this period was uh, the famous uh, poet laureate, uh, Rabindranath Tagore. And this festival was revived and popularized by the poet at the university that he had founded. Uh, Tagore introduced this festival to encourage unity, uh, peace, and love among students at the university. And today this festival holds a very special place in the hearts of 250 million people around the world uh, who speak Bangla, and also to about 30,000 people who are living here in Buffalo. So we are celebrating this uh, festival on June 10th uh, on the stage with music, poetry, and dance. Uh, in Amherst uh, Middle School. And uh, anybody who wants to take a peek, it's open. And like I mentioned, very colorful because part of the, the celebration, if I'm not mistaken, involves yes. a like a smearing of, of, of colored powder, bright red, greens, yellows, all, you name it, um, called aber. Is that correct? Abi, aber. yes, yes. And what's the, the meaning there? It's a, it's a renewal of life's different seasons and every year at this uh, time we renew our faith in each other and renew our love for others in the world who not only speak our language but other languages uh, because we are all connected as one and many of uh, Tagore's uh, poems are very mystical in nature and that is the theme. Uh, although we may appear different, but underlying theme, if we go a little deeper, we realize we are one with all. That's a beautiful message. Hopefully that's, that's heard loud and clear this weekend um, at the Shanskriti uh, event for uh, Bashanta Utsav. That's, so it's this weekend at, uh, in Amherst. Middle school. Middle school. Yes. Now, uh, Sudharto, for, for a person who's not of the Bengali culture, you mentioned it's, it's very universal, the universal theme of renewal and, and, and observance of, of just the human experience. 
But how else can can others that are not of of, of, of a Bengali background uh, observe or, or at least like respect those that are participating in this event? Well, you could just show, show up, up and, and say a, hello. Be a part of it. And then be a part of it Come and on. exchange hugs. <laughs> now, your involvement in Shanskriti is is long. You've been there just about as long as you've been here in Buffalo for, for the Correct. four decades. Correct. How Correct. would you how would you describe uh, how the the Bengali culture has has changed throughout that time here in Buffalo? Has it has it I'm assuming I'm hoping that it's grown. Has it has it evolved? How yes, long? it has uh, it has blossomed. When I came here uh, 40 years ago, uh, I could probably say that there were probably no more than few hundred. Uh, and now there's uh, more than 30,000. It speaks uh, to the community of Buffalo, how we make other people feel welcome. And it's truly a city of good neighbors. Uh, ever since I stepped in uh, 40 years ago to go to University of Buffalo, I never felt different or, or somebody from another culture. Uh, the community is so easily absorbed uh, people like me. And this is one of the wonderful things about the community. Uh, you know, when I used to read the university perspectives, uh, which uh, kind of claimed Buffalo was a city of good neighbors, you feel it when you are here. Um, Sudhartha, your bio on, on the Sanskriti website says that you are known for your culinary skills. Now, Oh, geez. Now, <laughs> my, my, now I'm putting you on the spot. What kind of food normally do we can we expect at uh, at Bashant Utsav? The Bengalis are, are really foodies. Uh, there is a saying, the heart to each Bengali runs through their stomach. That, that's and, the, uh, I see the universal aspect of, of Bengali culture <laughs> there, very evident. <laughs> we, we love to cook, especially different forms of curry. And uh, one of the things uh, that Bengali is known for is uh, discriminating a, a palate for different types of seafood, uh, especially fish. It's a land of rivers and canals. Uh, I grew up with fish twice a day, and they were all fresh uh, from the market. A lot of phosphorus uh, in your diet. You know, most of the uh, fish was naturally bred in, in the ponds and, and, the, and the lakes. And uh, people who don't know what fresh fish is all about, uh, it's difficult to explain. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing like, like a fresh catch. Mm. So if anything that, you know, Bengalis thrive on is on fish. And we have, um, just like the French, you know, pair uh, different sets of wine with different dishes, uh, we have different types of sauce for different fish uh, entrees. They're very distinctly different than the ones that we get uh, in, in Bengal. Well, I have to, uh, I, might, I might have to drop by to, to partake of the of the the flavors <laughs> and sights of of uh, Bashanta Utsav, yes, yes. Suharto, how does Bashanta Utsav pertain to to the celebration of Holi? They, they have the same underlying theme. Uh, you know, India is 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 a culture of twenty two different uh, languages, and if you see the Indian uh, uh, rupee, and you can see that all the different scripts that the, the word rupee is written. Mm -hmm. So different uh, regions of India uh, celebrate spring in a slightly different way, but the theme is is the same. It, it is to spread unity, love, and peace to all living beings. And is there a proper greeting or or saying that you would say to one during Mashanta Utsav? Happy spring. <laughs> <laughs> Not one particular uh, one, but we, we always say Namaskar means oh, I respect the soul inside you and may you prosper. I love that. Wait, it's not Namaste, it's Namash... Namaskar is the big Namaskar. Bali version of Namaste. Namaskar. Yes, Namaskar, yes. Well, Sudharto, Namaskar, thank you so very much for, for enlightening us a little bit about, Namaskar, about, about this, this wonderful and very, very colorful and, and and beautiful holiday coming up. Thank you. And just uh, one last thing, uh, on behalf of Sanskriti, to all your listeners, we send you love and greetings of the festival. We all certainly need that and more. So thank you, sir. 
right back at you. Thank you. Suharto Ghosh, thank you very much for making the time for us today on Buffalo What's Next. 